Hey guys, I'm Hayley and I'm an occupational therapist with Special Needs Solutions and today I'm going to talk you through the Stingray Buggy. What you'll need before you start are your Allen keys. Now these will be connected on your Stingray Buggy at the back of the seat as well as a sharp Stanley knife. I always carry two just in case one isn't sharp enough. Pop these down for now. Okay, so when the Stingray Buggy arrives to you, it'll look fairly bare. Don't be intimidated because I'm going to talk you through every single step. The first step that we'll do is actually put a cover on this so it's a little bit softer. This is the cover here and as you'll see it's pressed tight all the way along. So we'll put the grey side towards the child and you'll see it pressed up here. You just press start it in, slide it through, press start it on. Right in, there you go. Had my veggie mite today. <laughs> And then down on the bottom of the seat, there's also two press studs here. And you just press stud on there. One. And another one here. Two. There are a lot all the way up. But we won't do those yet because we need to get to these little clips here for our harnesses. The next pot we'll do is putting our hip guide on. I'll grab our hip guide. This is our hip guide. So as you'll see, the bracket is like a V. So we're going to slide it and click it in this way. The bracket for this is here, so you just slide, and you hear it click, you like it, there you go, and that's all clicked in. The next part that we'll do is this little bracket here. This one is for your tray. You can see it, it's this little bracket here, and there's a circle over here, if I can see it properly. I'll come around, and you line up the screw with the hole, and you just tighten it on like a tap. Right to tighten, left to loosen. Tighten that all the way up. And there you go. See, it's starting to look more like a stingray before you know it. The next thing is to put it on its base. Because the next part is a little bit tricky with the child. So we're going to leave this for now and we're going to go get our base. Slide it out the way. Your base will arrive pretty compact. As you see, that's probably how you'll get it out of the box. To build it up, we're going to bring the handlebars to the middle. We're going to step around to the back of it, making sure our brakes are on. Our brakes for the buggy are at the back here. Brake, brake, click down, and they're on. There's a little foot symbol on the tra on the on the base. I'll let you come have a look at that little foot. So what we're going to do is put our foot on the foot, grab it here and here. This is called safe silver and give it a good old yank. You hear that click? It's clicked in. Bring the handlebar towards the back of the buggy. You'll know what the back of the buggy is because it has the big wheels. Pull these, push these in, you hear the click, and the click, and then to extend the handlebar, you just simply pull it up and it will click in. If you see here, this is a V bracket. There is also a very similar bracket on the bottom of the seat. So, to pop it on, we're going to grab the seat, you'll see the bracket on the back, we're going to pop it on, leave it halfway, there's a handle at the back of the seat, and I'll show you, turn it around, and we're going to just slide it on. See the two pins, if you, if you can see that? There's two pins here, and there's a little V. I always describe this as like going putt-putting. You guide them through and give it a bit of a yank. And that's it. Everything with the Stingray is an audible click. So you'll know it's clicked on because you'll hear that loud click. So this is our seat. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to grab our cushions. These are our trial cushions. These ones have already been cut. I'm going to grab some others, but I'm going to show you how to cut them yourself. So this is it. You pop the cushion on the seat. There'll be press studs up the top here. You press stud these on just to make sure you've got the right spot. Grab the extra cushion and slide it at the back. You normally put the child on at this stage and see which one of these you'd like to cut. Today we're going to cut the second one. So I'm going to grab my Stanley knife and we're going to do the scary part of cutting the material. We're going to cut where our laterals are going to go. So once you pop the child off and you've seen where you'd like the laterals on the seat, pop them off 
and we're going to cut away. Grab your sharp Stanley knife and I emphasise it needs to be sharp because it needs to glide through the fabric and not get caught. So I'll show you how to do it. The first one, we're going to go from here in between the two stitching, holding the fabric and going straight through. Applying a little bit of pressure, come close and I'll show you how to do it at the back. It kind of stands out a little bit more when you can see the stitching. So if you see here, these are the two lines of stitching. This is where we're cutting. We're grabbing our Stanley knife and we're gliding it between those stitchings. And as you'll see, it'll go white because it's opened up that fabric. Now once you've made those cuts, we're going to put this down. We're going to put the extra cushions down. And we're going to, I'll show you what we're going to do with our laterals. I'll grab a lateral so you can see. The laterals have circles down the bottom and the bracket here is a circle. So what you're doing is you're popping it in a circle and sliding it along. So we're going to do the same process but with the covers on. So, pop that on. Sometimes it helps to undo them a little bit so it's a little bit looser. We're going to bring it all the way to the end, bind that circle and now slide it across. Wiggling sometimes helps. They're angle adjustable and all you have to do to tighten them is this little tightening of a tap almost. Okay, we'll grab the other lateral and do the same. There's two sides to a lateral. There's a soft padded side and there's a hard side. Making sure the soft padded side is always towards the child. Again, pop it through the hole of the material. Slide it all the way to the end. Sometimes it's a bit tricky because you're doing this blind sometimes if you can't see it. And slide it across. Locking it off by tightening. And then you can also button these up. Okay, there's also a pommel. The brackets are already be mounted to the base of the chair. So I'll lift it up so you can see the bracket. This is the V bracket here. This is the V bracket of the pommel and it's simply just going to slide in through that. So we'll put this chair down and we're going to slide the bracket in and hear that loud audible click. There's also a headrest. The Velcro is always to the top of the headrest. So you just go like this, slide it through, slide it through and do it up. Easy. You pop a lap belt on. Bring the lap belt to the middle of the chair. You feed it through the fabric at the back feed it through the fabric at the back and I'll show you on this side there's clips all the way along that has been covered by these pads one two three four and five so for your lap belt you just lift that up and that's open now you slide the belt through it pull it through and tighten and that's locked off now Repeat that with all your different harnesses wherever you'd like to mount them. For your shoulder harnesses, there's also two up the top here where you can mount your shoulder harnesses and then locking to close. Okay. I'll show you one other thing that we can mount or the two other things that are mounted onto the seat. So these here are for your tray and I'll turn this around so you can see where it's going to mount. So the two bars on your tray are here. You can adjust these by with an Allen key in these little holes so you can slide them up and down, either bringing the tray closer or further away from the child. Walk it on, all you simply do, if you come nice and close, I'll show you, you slide it in there and you slide it through and that will be locking it on. To close it or to lock it on, it's this one here, like a tap, left will loose and right to tighten. And the angle adjustable adjustment is here. Take that off for now because we don't need that for now. There's also a oh, sun hood that can be mounted. These mounts will already be on your base of your seat. So there's one here and there's one here. So if you see the sun hood has teeth, what we're going to do is we're going to just simply slide it in, slide it in, and that's connected. The sun hood is quite big all the way down. You play hide and seek in there, 
or if you like your child to see, you just simply Velcro this up here. Okay? It closes wherever you want. To pop it off, there's a little black button at the bottom here. So you push that in, pull it out, and that's out. Push this in, pull it out, and that's out. Okay, just pop this over there. Now with fitting of the seat, there is different growths available. So we can grow the back height up as well as seat with quite a fair bit out. I'll show you how to do that now. If you turn the seat around, normally you undo here and here. This one also. Sometimes when they're brand new, they're quite tight. So sometimes I recommend pulling these out. The pull and twist, the pull and twist, and it's a pull of this. And you simply put your foot on the foot and give it a bit of a cut up. And there you go. You can lock it off here now. So tighten these. There'll be little screws here that you need to tighten. Tighten. Put these back in. And that's locked in now. Okay. On your hip spaces, there's little black spaces on these hip guides. As the child grows, you can replace these spaces to bring these further in or out. That's easy done with an Allen key. To grow the seat deck, it's a matter of an Allen key here and an Allen key here. And then sometimes there's two Allen keys at the very bottom of the seat. You undo those and you just give this a pull. And as you see, there's a fair bit of growth there. So you can sit wherever you'd like, tighten it off, tighten it down the bottom, and that's it. Bring the covers down. Get it and there you go. Okay, so this Stingray is pretty fancy. It does tilt and space as well as backrest recline. Tilted space is actually tilting the whole seat back like this, whereas backrest recline is reclining it back. So it actually can lay flat. This is really good for kids that, you know, fatigue quite easily, as well as when you're out and about and you need to change your nappy, you can lay this flat and do it on the base. So I'll show you how to use both of those mechanisms. Turn it around. It's these two black pins. You pull these out and you'll see that they have two teeth making sure they don't go back into their little holes. Loosen this off by pulling it up and then wherever you'd like it to go. So say you don't want it there, you just turn it. You'll hear that click. Same with this one. You'll click and you lock it off and that tightens it, that final silver one. Tilt and space is on the side of the stingray on the left hand side of the base and I describe it as a T-shaped looking black bracket. When doing all your adjustments on your seat, please be sure to hold on to your seat. Put your brakes on, hold on to the seat. This works on a gas strut, so you just lift this and then pop it wherever you like. You can do quite a little adjustment, so just from there to there, you can let go and it will lock off. It will lock off wherever you like. on this is very adjustable. You can adjust the length of it. So adjust the length. It's a matter of loosening this knob here and bring it further down the bar. So you like it that length. You can also bring it up by loosening this big one here on the left hand side of the chair. You'll hear it click. So it has like teeth that it's meeting. Tighten it off again. And the bottom of the foot plate, you can angle adjust it by simply loosening or tightening this bolt. This is really good for lung sitting and it means the child can be laying directly flat with legs out and everything. The Stingray has a 180 degree turntable. So what that means is that it can turn around while the child is still seating in the seat. So to do that, there's these two black clips on the bottom of the handlebar. We're going to pinch them and then pull. We're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to pinch and pull. And we're going to turn the handlebar over. As you'll see, the handlebar hasn't got anywhere specific to lock. If you feel there, that's where it needs to lock in. You hear the click, lock it in. 
Okay, so what you'll notice now is that our little wheels are at the back and our front wheels at the front. This isn't how we want it to be. So we need to get the front wheels back at the front. We do this by, if you see on your handlebar, there is a white arrow. Hold on to your handlebar, put your foot against the stingray frame for a little bit of resistance and give it a spin. Wait, and you'll hear a loud audible click when it clicks in. There you go. Now you know it's clicked in. We could do that because our foot plate was already up. If we had our foot plate down, and I'll show you, it would easily hit our frame. So that's why before we do our swivel, we need to make sure that our foot plate is lifted up. Let me do that again. So firstly, we'll lift our foot plate up. We'll pinch and pull down at the bottom here. Pinch and pull down the bottom here. Push the handlebar over. Lock it back in. Lock it back in. Follow the right white arrow that's on the handlebar. Put your foot against it for a little bit of resistance. And give it a tug. Walk it over. And you feel a click. And it's locked back in. Okay? Alrighty, so let's work out how to fold it and to pack it away. To take the seat off the space, what we need to do is get down, down low, lift up this extra pad. This extra cushion here is for when it actually grows all the way up. So don't be worried if you have the extra cushion here, that's what we want. Lift it up, pull these two prongs together and give it a pull. When I say pull, I mean push. <laughs> Grab the seat by the handlebar and by the rod here and lift it off. If you see at the bottom of the seat, there is a V plate. That is what meets the V plate on the base. So let's put it back on so you can see how I do that. You pop it on. Come down to the hand chair into the back. We're going to push it forward. If you see here, I kind of describe it as going putt-putting. These two little pins you need to go through that hole so if you just glide it back hold on to here and give it a good tug or wiggle it clicks in okay so we'll repeat it we'll take it off push it and we'll take the seat off pop the seat down and we'll fold the frame bring the handlebars down by pulling this pushing it down Bring these to the middle by pinch and pulling, pinch and pulling, bring to the middle. Now hold on to the safe silver. I'll describe it as safe silver because as this collapses, it collapses with a bit of force. And if you hold on to here, this will just extend up. So, hands should be away from anything down here. Hold on to here. If you see down the very bottom, there's two little black pins. We want to push one of those with our thumb. And you'll see now that this is bent. That means it's unlocked. We'll do the same to the other side. And there you go. The frame is collapsed. To lift it, we always lift from the bottom. It is made out of carbon fibre, so it is fairly light. But it's going to be a little bit heavier than something like your standard umbrella straw. Okay, so I'll quickly show you how to pop it back up together. Bring it to the middle your hands on your safe silver, put your foot on the foot and give it a good old yank. There you go. Bring the handlebars to the back. The back is along with the big wheels. Lock it in. Extend the handlebar up. Hear the click. Grab our seat. Put the V on the V. Come to the back. Bob's your uncle. Easy down. So there's a couple of little adjustments that I haven't shown you yet. This suspension is fully adjustable. Simply turn to loosen or the other way to tighten. Also, these wheels, they are able to swivel or be locked in one direction. If you see these little black pins, if you pull these out and bring the teeth into line into the hole, that loud click, that is now one directional. To make it swivel, turn it and pull it and it's swivel. Alrighties, so that's the Stingray. 
I'm Hayley from Special Needs Solutions and if you do get stuck, please feel free to give us a call on 07 55 27 and we'd be more than happy to help you out. Cheers guys, have a good day.